My name is Stannis Marvina Sisse, and uh, uh, my company's name is uh, Okapi Fitness Line. Uh, but most people call me Okapi. Some also call me Okapi Zagari. Um, some call me the Transformer. So um, that is my name. And, uh, myself, I call myself the creator of champions. So that's who I am. I'm a manufacturer. Gym equipment, local manufacturer gym equipment. Um, that's I supply a lot of gyms. I work for a lot of gyms. You know, some of the equipment um, have not reached Ghana yet. And I try to manufacture them and you know, I supply them to gym and I use them myself. And I also distract people. When I was a teenager, I used to fight a lot. Fight here and there. Every week I could fight about four or five times. So, you know, if you come and tell my mother I'm somewhere smoking or you know, drinking, and even if it's true, my mother will never believe. But if you come tell my mother I'm fighting, it's not true, my mother will believe. So, through the fighting, I decided that since I'm somebody who doesn't want to lose my fight, so I need to train and admire a lot of. People like uh, Lee, Mike Tyson, etc. So I started training. Through the training, I said I have to have some equipment. Then I brought in the equipment. Then as it goes on and on, I was using, I was doing a lot of cardio training, and, and martial, martial arts, and so on and so forth. But it reaches a time that my mother was talking a lot about the way I fight here and there. It's advising me, I should be careful, it's not good, blah blah blah. So I got to stop. So I told myself, how am I going to stop this fight? I realized it was quick tempered and I was very small, so people kind of underrated me. So I said, okay, the only way I can stop fighting is to, is to look huge. Probably if I look huge and nobody, even if I'm not fit, nobody will try to tell me because size matters. As far as you look good, you look huge, people will not try to, you know, tempt you the way they tempt you when you are smaller or smallish. So I started doing bodybuilding, trying to build my body, uh, which I didn't know how to use supplements, etc. etc. So through that people start uh, following me. People will come to my house and train with me. One thing is that I've never trained somebody to before because I like to have my own thing. So people will come to me and they will do it. So I bought a lot of equipment, a little money I'll make, I'll buy the equipment, a little money I'll make, I'll buy the equipment. So I have a lot of people. So then I was not collecting money, I was doing it for free. And my uncle took me like, hey, son, this thing to do it is a business, it's a big business. You have to do it and take some help from them and make some money out of it. Apparently, I was trying to change music. I, was, I, I, I rapped then in secondary school, I passed secondary school, continuing at that secondary school. So I was trying, my focus on the, was on the music, I was not concentrating on the tune. Then it happened that the music didn't work out, so I said, okay, then it looks like the gym is a good. So I started joining people, started collecting money, and I realized I need to do more equipment, I started doing more equipment. People who visit the gym, place the equipment, and other people also work themselves. So, from the beginning, I would just let them come and copy and go and I realized that can also fetch money. Then I cut that stay, then I started producing for them. So, that is how the new show started. Trying to manufacture an electric machine. One gym. It's not easy to manufacture a machine like this because of the lack of materials, etc. etc. But with the little we have, I'm very proud we are able to produce such a machine. Uh, we get our materials from scrap, mostly from scrap. But uh, the scrap here, we have, uh, we have a chance to get the most durable uh, materials in the scrap. And also, sometimes when it's difficult. Yeah, so few shotguns can go and get uh, 
some so that scrub or anything, but yeah, just, just that they are very expensive. expensive. That, that of the scrub is quality bar, less expensive. That, that of the shot is quality also, but very expensive. expensive. I'm proud of my machine because there is lack of technology whilst producing it. It's produced organically. You can see the only two machines we are using is the grinding machines and the welding machine, that's the only machine we're using, so I'm very proud of it. I'm just an engineer in my work and I direct my workers as to what they have to do and so on so forth. A lot of people have tried to copyright what we do, but uh, they are not able to do it very perfectly. So you see the difference you do. This is what we're talking about. Uh, I've been doing this for more than 15 years, that's for sure. I don't know what's happening. I'm in my 40s, so I'm a girl that I'm in my head. It's more than 15 years. It's not close to 17 years. Uh, I work for, I work for the gym, I work for the gym, I work for the gym. I've worked for, as for the local gym a lot, I'm a guy in the world, this gym, in my area, in the couple of gyms, I've worked for, it's a lot of the first time I've been here, and I'm going to get up. Nice. So far, so good. In the pandemic era, when the pandemic era, the lockdown, people were sitting home without uh, making any money, because I was, I was still making some. Because people want to turn a hole. So that's where others will come, like, do you have dumbbells? I want to get them for my personal use. Do you have some benches? This is what I said. I am fortunate to say that my, 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 my work, the pandemic didn't affect my work much. What it affected was the gym side of it, the technical side of it. Yeah. Once I have the material, if somebody needs it, I work in my house, I can use it for the rest of the world. What the sport building does or what training does is that if you own a training, the more you training, the training makes you look younger. Somebody is 18 years or 20 years or 22 years of training, you look sure like you are 5 or 6. Somebody is 40 years of training. Come back to the I will be very glad if the um, Ministry of Health will make it a very good opportunity thing for everybody to join or most of the ministries or most of the uh, big, big big company to have jobs on their own. I mean, we have to promote. promote um, Training and exercise because there are a lot of diseases that before the doctors do it, they don't cure it or let it go. But training can do it. Crossing the night. Crossing the night. I tell my clients, you shouldn't make the working out every uh, routine, a duty that you have to do. You make it out for you should love it. I love it. So if I don't train, I just can't be fine. You know, there's anything like, well, the word of discipline will you know, be accepted as far as some people are concerned. But I, I don't think I'm using discipline to train all this year. What I'm using is passion, love. So when I'm instructing, I tell people, love what you are doing. Especially training women and you know women like to develop their body a lot. You want to develop your body. They will be as fat or we are doing certain things that will be your body. And you don't like to develop your passion in it. How will you get? So don't see it as a duty. You love it. You love it, that's why we come here. Everybody who comes to the gym regularly, any body that you see, any lady that comes to I don't think they do it out of discipline, you need a passion and a love for the game. The most most of the dumbbell when I started, you can't buy dumbbell for any bugger. No, you can buy. We are very, very expensive. We even have a website. 
mostly they are 10 kg, 15 kg, um, 30 kg maximum. So um, I started buying from I've, I've ever bought a dumbbell from Merco. I bought from City Commerce. I bought from that shop over the years. But what I do is that when I bring it and they are not up to the kilogram I want because gym you need to have 10, 15, 14, the goals. If not two, two kg different, it has to be five. So I'll bring them, dismantle them the way it is. Then I will assemble the, the world. So if I want 10 kg, I just have to use five plates, uh, three plates here, three plates here, assemble them, work them. So that's how I got most of my numbers. Um, the 60 kg, I did the 60 kg myself because my boys, you know, the, the, the more equipment you have, the more your guys will develop it and be able to carry something with So the 50 kg became small for them and the request of the 60 kg. So I bought them, I bought the plates from the city woman and I did the handling and assembly the handle myself. And uh, it's not all the gyms in Ghana that I think it's we have few gyms that I have this degree. Uh, here you have a lot of hard calls, weight lifters, you have the girls strongest um, um, athletes coming here to work out so we have a system. Cross City Nice. Cross City Nice. Yeah, we have a lot of bodybuilding associations in Ghana, but for me they are funny. Because this is a very small country and mm -hmm. They have rules all over. If you contest in this bodybuilding group, you can't contest in this bodybuilding group. If you contest in this bodybuilding group, you can't contest. Let me be very honest. If you are a waba, you can't contest in manga. If you are a manga, the manga also says uh, it's right to not contest in um, this guy's home. Uh, this physique contest. Mm -hmm. He said you can't contest there. So this small country we have only about three groups mm -hmm. and everybody wants to be on their own. Right. But in America what I know is that you can contest in this, contest in this, contest in this. And at the end of the day, Olympia is a big bodybuilding platform. So you're contesting in other platforms to qualify you to the Olympia. But yeah. Ghana, very small country, yeah. everybody wants to, I mean, isolate it group and keep it certain way. It's, it's not a good Cross City Nice. Cross City Nice. Fitness instructors in Ghana, most of them just um, came from the ghetto gyms and then because um, they have to survive because they know how to handle the dumbbell or how to handle the barbell. They decided to call themselves Aristrates and enter the game. Most of them, I need to be very honest, have not learned. And most of them, it's, 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 it's not a bad thing if from the beginning you were just a week later or going to learn the gym and decided to turn it into a work. What makes it bad is that they need to learn. They need to go to the internet. If not take a course, they have to go to the internet and learn what goes on. Most of the instructors we have in Ghana are hurting people. People are having fractures, are having pains where they shouldn't have. Instead of them even uh, curing that, um, people are trained that. The person might be fit, or the person will look fit, but the shape is not nice. Appearance matters. You can train me for me to look fit in me, and my appearance doesn't look good. So for instance, if you take somebody who, a lady who is big, and you train the lady is supposed to lose weight, the fundamental is that she's losing weight. But you don't have to let them lose weight, they become raw. So it begins like this, then you are coming down, then you are coming down. No, I don't believe in that. It begins, it begins like this, 
Now when coming down, I have to see the gaps. Yeah. I need to see the hamstring, I need to see the pads, I need to see the calves, I need to see the nice box, I need to see the boost, you know. So most of these instructors, I think it's about time to look for organizations that will come in and train them. We need to look for having a platform to train all these people so that people will not get it. The team is not supposed to help people, it's supposed to make them just the best. Across the nice. Across the nice. The fitness level in this country is very, very, very high. The awareness as of now is more than 10 years ago. Most people want to train. So this is it's, it's, it's not it's not bad. It's very good. People who are not training. First of all, you are the reason why the doctors go to strike. Because the pressure on the doctors automatically will let them finish. Because you are the reason. In this gym, I don't remember the, I don't remember the last time I visited a gym member. I have a lot of gym members. I don't remember the last time I visited a gym member. Please. I've run this gym for um, 20 years, close to 20 years in this business industry. I've never gone attended any client's funeral. You thought, oh, as for life, it's, it's God. If you die, you die. If God is on your side, you will not die. Charlie, God loves everybody. What is left for us to do is how to carry yourself as far as things you eat and your physical uh, exercise. As a matter of fact, the brother told me how to travel before. In, the, in Europe, and it's a stain problem. There are certain things when you are sick and you go to the hospital, they will direct you to the gym. It means that gym is, is going hand in hand with the hospital because of the things that happen to one, like small, small headache, you know, somebody who sleep, wake up and say you are tired. How can you sleep? Sleeping is supposed to be a recovery thing, you are resting. How can you sleep and get up and see that? Because you don't wake up. So, most of these petty, petty things that most of you will go and see the doctor. So if you start working out, it will help us and it will help you to take pressure from our doctors and our nurses because we don't have enough of them already and they claim that you know, the government is not giving them much pay. So, if you all should come and work out, they will give you much, much pressure on them. And they will not watch time. And now you have a team of YouTube. Plus, you can go beginners, work out, work out, you want to do it. It's a cardio, you can go beginners, cardio. Everybody has a smartphone. You need to use your smartphone. You can go beginners, cardio, work out, and it's there. Beginners, chest work out, and it's there. So you don't even need. If you go to YouTube and you learn all this thing, or you go to the internet and learn this thing, when you step into your chair, you are safe from an instructor who is going to be experienced. So, those of you who are not working out, I would encourage you to work out because most of the diseases or most of the sickness or illness you send to the hospital or clinic are minor things that shouldn't be taken there. The shop in the gym is around one movie, one movie just before you leave the market. Um, opposite Dr. Mustafa's office or behind the resident clinic. Uh, that is where the gym or the shop is. Um, don't be afraid to come. It's a calm day. Most of you people in Malawi is a very hard day. It's a very calm day. That's it when you are working in Malawi. Across the United States.